Friday, August, whatever this is, late. Um, every year at the end of August, the Kansas City Fed sponsors a conference of global central bankers in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. And in the, in the old days of pinstripe suits and neckties, I mean, just, just the thought of Alan Greenspan trying to get comfortable around a campfire uh, brought a certain amount of hilarity to the proceedings. And the thoughts of watching the central bankers singing old banking songs around the campfire about destroying economies accidentally. But you know, today, the central bankers have even discovered casual clothes, which is, I mean, it's a little odd to watch the, the head of the People's Bank of China alongside the head of the Bank of Japan and the American Fed chair um, in casual clothes in which they look most uncomfortable. But not as bad as they did in pinstripes, but anyhow. That conference is underway right now, and today, this morning, Chair Powell delivered one of the great speeches ever done by a, a Fed chair. It is hyperlinked in the copy next to this video, and it's in English, and it's not hard to read. Well, it's not that hard to read. And Powell is the first Fed chairman not to be an economist, and so he's, he's writing to us from the outside looking in. And he's been in the chair for some time, and it, it's not one of these things where, you know, it's a kind of inside club speech with uh, the references that are hard to pick out. He's writing clearly. Powell also was educated by Jesuits. And if you've ever had any friends who've been through that particular education, you know that arguing with them is pointless and that they have a unique way of approaching the world in a constant state of doubt, yet while willing to make decisions. And that's what's in the speech. And um, long-term predictions of the economy or the Fed or anything else are not a really good idea, but uh, Powell's made it clear that even though the U.S. economy is on the hot side, and even though the unemployment rate is dead low, which should help to engender inflation, the Fed is going to hike two, maybe three more times, not this year, but maybe in this cycle, and then pause. It's going to attempt to get from the 2% today, maybe 2.5, maybe 2.75, to neutral, and just stay there. The markets began to figure this out a couple of months ago. Uh, yeah, so they're properly priced, so there's no change in interest rates now uh, as a result of what we learned from Powell today. But he has laid out the next several months, which for the housing industry, for, for, for people doing what we do, um, uh, you can take the fear away. Uh, we're not going briskly above five. We're not going five and a half. We're not going to six. We, we may not even cross five. Um, until the economy declares itself. And uh, as Powell bracketed the future, the, the future's the same way all the time. If the economy stays about the way that it is now, no matter how hot it is, no matter how low the unemployment rate, the Fed does not intend to force it to slow down. The Fed's going to neutral. So there is a chance, of, of which given all of the politics in the world at the moment, that we could be in a period of considerable stability and really just good news. Do have a good weekend.